Long time no see for a lot of you. I thought you all deserved a bit of an explanation as to where I've been, why I haven't been making any YouTube videos, and just where is the channel going and what are the plans for the future. I mean, I've had a lot of changes over the past three years. It's been a real roller coaster for me. And perhaps you guys in the YouTube sphere don't know what's been going on. So we'd have a little chat, you, me, and the rest of the internet. So number one, first reason is if we go right, you know, why I haven't been making anything. Let's go right back to the beginning of the channel. When I first started the channel, it was in COVID times, right? Well, you know what? YouTube was saying, oh, maybe you shouldn't mention that word. You know, sod it. COVID. Yeah, I came over. Um, it was in COVID times I started the channel. Now, again, YouTube people might not realize, but I actually lived in China. Or I used to live in China. I've got a house over in China. I had uh, quite a decent, reasonably paid job as well. And of course, all of that just fell apart, it was completely vanished, it like evaporated over you know the space of six months to a year a couple of months so you know so i really had to go dig deep and go back to the drawing board and find out you know what's going on where am i going on in life and you know a big part of that is i was separated from my missus who's chinese for three years cut a long story short i came over to the uk with my missus on holiday in january 2020 and that's when covid hit China closed all the borders I couldn't go back she could obviously she's got to go back and work I could still teach online which I was doing for six months but it just got worse and worse and we were separated for three years in total so I spent a lot of time a lot of money trying to get back to China visa fees and pass new passports Chinese visa stamps stamps on Stamps on my bloody degree, stamps on my teaching certificates, dun, 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 get that all done, costs, you know, we're talking about a good couple of grand just to get that done, send it off, nothing happens, I lose my documents and, you know, I did this two or three times, various jobs fell through and after two years and quite a serious amount of money being in the hole, I just said, you know what, sod it, I'm not going back there, mate, and things were just too mental over there, so got no plans to go back to China unless it's just for a holiday for a few months or something at this stage again I was separated from my missus for three years however that is now over and well I'll say it over but in a good way um <laughs> I'm married now as you can see got married to a beautiful black square at Portsmouth registry office as you can see from the picture and yeah so we decided to get my missus over here um which had its own trials and tribulations number one being we had to wait six months for a decision because um, a certain small man in the Kremlin decided to invade Ukraine meaning the British home office was completely snowed under and we had to wait six months for a decision um, <coughs> excuse me sorry which is um, which was very very difficult because we we're in limbo no decision right it's okay if you know yes or no you can plan accordingly but that decision should have taken two weeks or it would take two weeks in normal times. It's back to two weeks now. It can be even faster if you pay a bit of extra money, but we had to wait six months in Ningpo. So as you can imagine, that was seriously taxing mentally for both me and her. And the good news on that is, like I said, that's turned out well. She's in the UK. We're both happy. We're both together. And that's, that's the main thing. Now that moves on to the next point why I haven't been streaming. Obviously, I've had much more... Uh, sorry, why I haven't been uploading YouTube videos. Number one is I had f far too much going on in my personal life. Number two is I've been doing a lot of Twitch streaming, two or three times a week. And the reason being is not only do I enjoy Twitch, it's really interactive, streaming on Twitch is far more interactive than it is on YouTube, but I actually make some money from twitch you know i'm not gonna beat about the bush not good money or anywhere near enough to quit my job or anything like that but you know a, a reasonable amount with commissions not twitch itself but just the commissions and um, a reasonable amount to supplement my income and you know i desperately needed that a few years ago so twitch had to take 
precedence over YouTube because I don't get a bloody penny from YouTube. Even though I'm over a thousand subscribers, I, I don't, I'm not monetized because I don't have enough watch time on my videos. I don't drop enough videos. So this isn't monetized. I don't make anything. It's YouTube is a hundred percent passion project for me. So Twitch takes precedent. Takes a lot of time for me to set up the stream. I don't have a dedicated streaming area or a huge house or anything like that. So it takes me a while to set up the stream. And once I've streamed, I mean, I'm zonked, mate. I'm done. Like, you know, I don't want no, nothing more to do with the internet. So, of course, YouTube had to take a back seat. But we're bringing it back. Maybe a video every two weeks, maybe every month. Something along those lines. That's what we're looking at for the future. And, of course... I should probably shield myself, shouldn't I? I mean, links for my Twitch stream are all down below and you can see what kind of goes on on Twitch um, in the background here. Look, I mean, now I'm painting with no hands, eh? Magician. Anyway, so that's reason number two. Reason number three um, is kind of harks back to, uh, not the most recent video that I dropped, but the one before that is general apathy with Games Workshop and struggling to find a video that I want to make. So this is where you guys come in. What would you want to see more from the channel? Just write down in the comments and let me know. Law videos, hobby videos, old hammer videos. I'm guessing that's gonna be more, yeah, let's do some more older. Third party miniatures, like, you know, there, there are plenty, you know, just let me know in the comments what you, do you, want me, do you want me to go back to the old epic narrator? You know, that's even a possibility. I do miss, the old narrations so I just haven't had any any will or any passion for any modern games workshop stuff and I'll let you guys into a little secret there are a couple of videos out there that you probably know which ones I'm talking about where it just wasn't me a couple of videos are like oh yeah look at this model it's really cool oh yeah like oh yeah I like this sculpting you know you know that wasn't me and I'm just not going to do it although those videos very easy, quick to make. I'm just not happy putting them out there. I'm not going to take them down, but I'm not happy to have them out there, if I'm brutally honest. But they're, they're still part of my YouTube story, so they're, they're staying. Now, the problem is, is it's Catch-22. If I do one of those talking head videos, oh yeah, look, look at this model, little reaction video or something like that, I might get a couple of thousand views on that. I spend ages and ages trying to make what I think is a decent hobby video and I end up with like 100, 200 views. Now, what would you do in my situation? Would you spend like 10 plus hours putting together a YouTube video with thumbnails and all of that lot just to have maybe one, 200 people watch it? And probably half of them are probably myself watching it. <laughs> but um, would you do that? Or would you just bung a... YouTube reaction video together and get some views and get some subscribers that way. You tell me what you would do. Because it's not not an easy decision. But those are the three reasons. Now let's think about the future. Right? I what I want to do, I really want to do more hobby videos and maybe some more reviews about non-games workshop products like army painter for example i've just bought some new color forge spray paint so i might do a quick video on that um alternative painting techniques different brushes stuff that just isn't gw and you don't have to spend the world on. that's really what i want to do but i'm probably going to get about 200 views on that and is that going to grow the channel i don't know catch 22 you know rock between a hard place all of those usual idioms um we can throw them out there so um, i think i'll just leave it there i mean i i don't need to ramble on any more than i need to do those are the reasons let me know what you want to see in in the comments i'm not going anywhere i'm back but why not check me out on twitch as well and uh i'll see you for the next video drop ta-ta